Okay, the uh, first part of our process is incoming product. Uh, because we don't manufacture anything here, all the product gets delivered to us. We have four truck level docks, one ground level dock, but the product comes in, generally common carrier. We do have a truck, we do some pickup and delivery, as well as customers deliver with their own trucks. Uh, product comes in, gets inspected, documented, entered into the system, a traveler and router are generated that follow the product through its processes through the shop. Uh, we do a variety of different products, ranging from uh, extrusions, castings, fabrications, stampings. Uh, we do aluminum, we do steel, we do stainless, we do copper, bronze, brass, a variety of materials. Um, as you can see here, some of the product is finished ready for shipment. Some of the product is raw, waiting to be coated. Uh, this is an example, this column, we did a, uh, the flagpole at PNC Park in Pittsburgh, the uh, American flagpole. Uh, it's about a 115 foot flagpole in this same powder, this sparkle silver, and we just did this column as a representation to give you an idea of some of the capacity that we have here at Advanced Finishing. Um, back here are some uh, panels from Metallic Ladder up in Randolph, New York. Uh, those are basically floating docks made out of aluminum. Uh, we powder coat those with a special custom-made uh, high textured material with a grid in it so that they're non-slip because these go in waterways. Um, we're also doing these in the wood grain finish for uh, campgrounds, private residences, etc. in the, uh, the lakes and, uh, and ponds and areas around the country. Uh, some of these other units, these are large fabrications for General Electric. We bring them in as raw material, powder coat them, assemble them, gasket them, put them all together, send them out to GE for their final uh, assembly uh, for off-highway vehicle. Uh, right next to them is uh, aluminum fencing that we're doing for a company in Ohio. We do miles of fencing, all the different parts, powder coated in a number of different colors. This order happens to be black. Uh, these are longer parts, give you an idea of some of the length we can run on our line. These are extrusions. Uh, uh, up to 20 foot long, which we run uh, on a daily basis. If we move along here, see some steel parts, iron parts. When the parts come in, they'll have all their documentation, inspection, looking for rust, looking for magic marker, looking for defects, uh, any damage. Uh, then these parts will get entered in the system, go into queue, get finished, come back for final inspection, packaging, and shipping out the door. Uh, as you can see, some parts are, are uh, in boxes and in crates, some parts are in special containers, uh, but really it's just a, pretty much a plethora of types of product that we run uh, on a daily basis. It comes in raw, we finish it, it goes out, and we're going to go over to the line now and see how it gets done.